You haven't played there, but your teammates told you anything about playing at Death Valley Tiger Stadium. And how do you guys play better and get off to a better start on on the road? Um, most definitely, I had you know older guys on the team, you know, tell me that you know me and Baton Rouge playing on the road, you know, at LSU it gets really loud. So most definitely, just coming in that game, make sure that you know we're communicating. You know, what I'm saying being on the same page so we can uh, have success on the field. Stay on the left side. We'll go to Zach Taylor. Jalen, do you know a lot of guys over there on that LSU team? And is that a that a squad that reached out to you at all in high school looking to recruit you? Oh, uh, yeah. I know a couple guys on the team, you know, like Dwight McLaughlin, you know, coming out of Texas. You know, just during recruiting, like, 707 circuit and things like that. Let's go to the right side. We'll go to Brett and then Olin. How have you seen Leon O'Neal maybe even grow up in the couple of years you've been here and also be a, a team, not just a defensive leader, but a team leader for this program? Um, you know, just see him, you know, just make strides, you know, not only as a football player, but, you know, as a person, as a man. And, um, you know, him being like a brother to me, just seeing what he's been doing lately and things like that, you know, I'm just so happy for him. So when you say he's like a brother to you, what what's an example of that? Um, just someone that has your back no matter what, you know, being a leader to this whole entire team and, you know, showing the way – not only to the younger guys, but also to the older guys that needs like someone, you know, to, just to help them out. So, Coach Fisher has made it very clear in the past couple of weeks, and maybe even in the past month, that he's going to be at Texas A&M, and of course LSU, you know, had probably gone after him. How happy did that make you all that he's made it clear that he's staying here at Texas A&M? Oh, just you know, that was huge, just because you know, just all like the things, and you know, that was said like during recruiting, like the promises and things like that. That. We're going to change this program around, like, together. So that was just big. You know, we already, you know, expected it, so. Let's go to Olin Buchanan and then Travis. Jalen, speak for yourself and for your team. I, I wonder if you can. Do you guys even care what bowl game you're going to be in? Um, you know, not necessarily, like, because whatever bowl game we go to, you know, it's another football game, so. We have the same standard going into any game, so. Do I even do you even know what bowl games that you could possibly go to? Um, not, not right now. I don't. Okay. Great, thanks. <laughs> Stay here in front, Dr. Travis. Yeah, I know the the season <clears throat> that started out with it was going to be you and, and Miles, uh, you know, doing your thing out there. What has that season been like for you, adjusting to his absence, and what have you also seen from from Tyreek and what he's been able to do to step in that absence as well? Um, you know. Like I said, just same standard, you know, having, you know, Brian George come on the field and then Tyreek Chappelle, Deuce Harmon, you know, you know, who was on the other side, you know, especially in the cornerback's room, you know, we have a certain standard that we have in that room and certain expectations. So, and I'm just so happy for, you know, Tyreek, you know, coming in, stepping up as a freshman and doing what he's doing. And, you know, I just couldn't be more proud of him. What's impressed you so um, uh, the most about what he's been able to do uh, as as freshman step in that role? Just um, his maturity, you know, honing in on the little things, being in the playbook, being on film, so he could put himself in position to make plays on Saturday. Jalen, we're going to go back to the uh, TV row to Tyler from KBTX in the back. Jalen, I know you guys you know try to have that faceless opponent mentality and just you know, on to the next one, but how when you look at this you know last game of the regular season. Uh, there's going to be a lot of emotion on the LSU side with Ed Orgeron's last game. It, um, just for you guys, is this kind of a season-defining type of game that, you know, winning this or, or losing this would, I guess, tip the scale the, how your season has gone? Um, no, not necessarily. Just, you know, like I said, just we have a certain standard that we play by, and we know this is another SEC game which means it's a tough game, so it doesn't matter who we play. The opponent's faceless. We're going to go out there and do what we're supposed to. So We're going to stay in the back, and we'll go to Mike Lucas from KX. Jalen, I got, I got two for you. First off, you know LSU is going to come out emotional with it being Coach O's last game. How do you guys match that intensity from the start? Um, holding in on the little things that we've been doing all season, being in the playbook, being in the film, just going out there and making sure that we put ourselves in position so we can make plays on Saturday and make sure this team comes out with a win. And then secondly, do you feel like at this point of your career you're, you're a true shutdown, lockdown, number one corner? Most definitely. 
All right, questions? Did I miss anybody? Awesome. Nope. Let's go to Rob Havens. Aguiland Illustrated. Howdy, Jalen. Um, so tell us, give us an insider's look at when Jimbo addresses the team before a game. Is he, is he just reminding you guys, you know, to do your job one play at a time, or does he try to pump you up, or is that more of a halftime deal? Kind of give us insight into what, what the players hear before and at halftime. Um, just, you know, he tells us the real, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just talk like, just – What do you mean by that? Explain, repeat that question. So before you go out on the field, is is he a pump you up kind of coach, or is he just a, hey, just play one play at a time? You know, or, or, are you hitting the field just fired up after one of his speeches? Um, just talk to us like one play one play at a time. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, whatever message he relates to us, the whole team like we feel that. So we go out there making sure that you know doing. What we're supposed to do. All right, we got uh, Robert Sesson on your far left. I guess getting back to the Ole Miss game, what did you <clears> learn <throat> about that game when you, you guys didn't have the good start? What did you learn and how you take that forward? Um, you know, you left some some plays on that field. You know, had some errors and things like that. But you know, that's what this game is all about. You live and you learn. So we saw the mistakes. You know, we fixed them, and that game is beyond us. All right. Thanks, Jalen. Thank you. Well done.